In this video, you will learn what you need to do when EVE 2.0 comes out if you own some EVE 1.0. Now, this is a video response to a question that Camilo Tapian asked. And he asked the following question. Hey, does anyone know and mind explaining what I'm supposed to do when EVE 2.0 comes out if I own some EVE? Will my current EVE be old and become useless? Does it automatically exchange to EVE 2.0? I'm confused and have a hard time finding the answer online. So if you're in the same situation and are not too sure what's gonna happen, then stay tuned as I try and answer this question to the best of my abilities. Thanks a lot, Camilo Tapia, for this great question. Let's dive right into it. So what happens to EVE 1.0 when EVE 2.0 comes out? So once phase zero is complete, there will be two active Ethereum chains. We've got the EVE 1.0, the proof of work chain, and EVE 2.0, the proof of stake chain. During this phase, users can become validators by staking 32 Ethereum. They need to send their EVE 1.0 to the EVE 2.0 chain. And at the moment, this is a one-way bridge with no way to migrate this Ethereum back. The current proposal is that in phase two, all the transactions and the state of the current EVE 1.0 chain will be transferred into a shard on the EVE 2.0 chain. So Ethereum 2.0 is introducing sharding. Sounds very complex, but it's actually not that difficult of a concept. So sharding is basically Ethereum 2.0 will be split up into multiple data layers. Each of these data layers is called a shard and has its own unique set of account balances and smart contracts. The idea is that in phase two of the Ethereum 2.0 roadmap, Ethereum 1.0 will be transferred in its entirety all transactions and state into a shard on the EVE 2.0 chain. Now I want to quote Danny Ryan, an Ethereum developer. So once the state execution layer is in the new 1024 shards, users will be able to transfer ETH directly to the shards from the proof of work chain. In the long term, the plan is to roll the proof of work chain into one of the shards, one of these data layers like this here, which will contain the whole of Ethereum 1.0 proof of work chain. You do not need to worry about your Ethereum 1.0 becoming old and useless. So you can either become a validator and stake Ethereum, or you can do nothing and just hold on to your Ethereum 1.0 until it is fully integrated into EVE 2.0. So I want to thank Camilo Tapia again for this great question. If you find these type of videos valuable, then I really appreciate if you hit that red subscribe button to be part of the team and to stay up to date with Ethereum and other blockchain related topics. I'm super pumped about what 2020 is going to bring us got a lot of exciting videos aligned and set up for the next few weeks, few months, talking about Ethereum, decentralized finance, Bitcoin, and many other blockchain related topics. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask them down below. I do my best to answer each and every question that you have. And as always, I wish you a great day, fantastic week, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.